There's a new studio dynamic microphone on the market that I think will be a great option for high-end podcasters. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. I'm here with Gary from Audio Technica at National Association of Broadcasters. And Audio Technica is a name you're familiar with because of the ATR2100 and the AT2005 USB microphones that are great for entry level. But if you want to step it up and really improve your quality, then you'll be looking at spending something around in the three to four hundred dollar range. Audio Technica now has a great microphone to meet that need. So Gary, tell me about the BP-40. Yeah, the, this is actually a purpose, it's our first purpose-driven broadcast microphone. We've been in the technology game for about 50 years doing transducers, but we really decided to set our goals on a, on a real high-quality broadcast microphone. So the first thing we did is centered this around the capsule. And this is a new proprietary capsule design. It's a very large diaphragm. But the thing that makes this very unique from a sound quality perspective is it has very condenser-like uh, what do I want to say, nuances for intelligibility, but it still has that very warm, rich, you know, what we come to expect with a dynamic microphone. The other thing is it's not going to be uh, very sensitive like a condenser where you'd pick up the whole room. It's going to be a very focused sound. So you get that nice articulation. It's a very fast diaphragm, but you get that big warmth from the big, large diaphragm in the capsule. The second thing we did is we optimized the placement of that capsule. So we pulled that capsule a little away from the front of the microphone. What this is gonna allow us to do is put a nice big pop filter in the front of the capsule. We're also gonna be a little less prone to the big proximity effect differences. So once you have this microphone dialed in, you can kind of work it a little further and you don't have big differences in the audio quality, which is really important. So it's a very consistent sounding microphone. The other thing we did is it comes with a rigid stand mount, which is kind of optimized for a perfect balance on the microphone. And then we have the optional shock mount here. So let's show some of that that we've got right here on the microphone. Yeah, so the, the microphone uh, shock mount itself is a very simple procedure. It's essentially about a sixteenth of a turn, and the microphone si simply comes out. And I love how easy that is. You don't have to mess with screwing stuff that's in right and stuff. Right there. That, that, that's, all, that's all we got. And what that's going to do is minimize all that stand transmitted noise. To further reduce that, we have a low cut roll off switch on the microphone, which is going to take everything below 80 hertz out of the audio, which uh, if you don't have the optimal, you know, maybe you have heating, air conditioning, things of that, uh, maybe, you know, stand people walking around, low frequencies from cars driving by. That's going to take a lot of that out of the audio. So where is that switch on the microphone? Uh, right under the model number here, we see the little broken line, and then we see a straight line. Straight line is going to be flat, and the broken line is going to be, we're going to take that low end out of there. So you have the option as a user to which one suits your needs. Okay, what's the price point on this microphone? Uh, this sells in the, uh, comes with this mount and that sells for about $349. The shock mount is about a $100 accessory. Okay, and when is this going to be available? Well, I've been coining a phrase at this show, we're calling it June Lie. So what we do is we get our original test production and then we do 100% QC on that, that uh, production. So as long as everything is up to snuff and goes through our anechoic chamber and comes out swell, we're gonna be shipping probably in the, in the June timeframe. Now, I know you're probably wondering how this microphone sounds as well. So this isn't the best environment for it because we've got a lot of background noise. But here, I will switch over to letting you hear my voice on the BP-40. So now I'm talking on the BP-40 like I would be talking as if I'm hosting a podcast. I'll turn this around a little bit more. Okay. So it's, it's got the pop filter built in that uh, you wouldn't want to talk directly into this because very close because of your popping peas and such. But it's got that built in, so you don't have to have this big thing in front of your face. It has some nice off-axis noise rejection. I'm talking around the microphone. And yes, you're picking up some crowd noise, but you're not gonna be recording in a crowd. I love how modern this looks. And the durability of the microphone, tell me about that. 
Yeah, one of the things, we, we actually went with a design company out of France on the actual aesthetic design on this, and you know, it could be a little too heady, but they, they say it's patterned after a digital waveform, so the silhouette has these kind of ridges and whatnot. It just ends up being a very handsome looking microphone, and really the thing that the video is not gonna show is when you take this out of the shock mount, you got a piece of gear. It, it is built like a tank. Um, and, that, and that's really to stand up to the rigors of you know a, a broadcast facility. So you're kind of getting the benefit as a podcaster of building this thing to the specifications that a big FM station or broadcast facility would need. It real and I don't recommend this, but it really does feel like you could drop the microphone on a hard floor and you would worry about the floor more than you would worry about the microphone. Yeah, you don't it, want to drop it on your toe. <laughs> it, it is a weapon too. But this is a great microphone. You said uh, $349, uh, probably the retail price you'll find this for, available summer 2015. And the shock mount for $99. This is the Audio-Technica BP40, available soon. You'll see the links for those below this video. Check it out. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com. Gary, thank you very much from Audio Technica, and thank you for watching. This video and my others from New Media Expo and NAB Show were made possible with some great help. Thanks to Neil Christensen from EmailSplat.com for being my camera guy. Thanks to Melvin Rivera from Combio180.com for loaning me the microphone and recorder during the event. And thanks to John Buchanis from AudioEditingSolutions.com for editing these videos together for me. And thank you for sharing and watching this video. Check out all of the other videos from New Media Expo and NAB Show at TheAudacityPodcast.com. Audacity to Podcast.com.